Flight dynamics is the science of air vehicle orientation and control in three dimensions. The three critical flight dynamics parameters are the angles of rotation in three dimensions about the vehicle's center of gravity CG, known as pitch, roll and yaw. Control systems adjust the orientation of a vehicle about its CG. A control system includes control surfaces which, when deflected, generate a moment or couple from ailerons about the CG which rotates the aircraft in pitch, roll, and yaw. For example, a pitching moment comes from a force applied at a distance forward or aft of the CG, causing the aircraft to pitch up or down. Roll, pitch and yaw refer to rotations about the respective axes starting from a defined steady flight equilibrium state. The equilibrium roll angle is known as wings level or zero bank angle. The most common aeronautical convention defines roll as acting about the longitudinal axis, positive with the starboard right wing down. Yaw is about the vertical body axis, positive with the nose to starboard. Pitch is about an axis perpendicular to the longitudinal plane of symmetry, positive nose up. A fixed wing aircraft increases or decreases the lift generated by the wings when it pitches nose up or down by increasing or decreasing the angle of attack AOA. The roll angle is also known as bank angle on a fixed wing aircraft, which usually banks to change the horizontal direction of flight. An aircraft is streamlined from nose to tail to reduce drag making it advantageous to keep the sideslip angle near zero, though an aircraft may be deliberately sideslipped to increase drag and descent rate during landing, to keep aircraft heading same as runway heading during crosswind landings and during flight with asymmetric power. Topic. Introduction Topic. Reference frames Three right-handed, Cartesian coordinate systems see frequent use in flight dynamics. The first coordinate system has an origin fixed in the reference frame of the Earth. Earth frame Origin, arbitrary, fixed relative to the surface of the Earth. Z-axis, positive in the direction of north. Y-axis, positive in the direction of east. Z-axis, positive towards the center of the Earth. In many flight dynamics applications, the Earth frame is assumed to be inertial with a flat Z, E plane, though the Earth frame can also be considered a spherical coordinate system with origin at the center of the Earth. The other two reference frames are body fixed, with origins moving along with the aircraft, typically at the center of gravity. For an aircraft that is symmetric from right to left, the frames can be defined as body frame, origin, airplane center of gravity, XB axis, positive out the nose of the aircraft in the plane of symmetry of the aircraft, ZB axis, perpendicular to the XB axis, in the plane of symmetry of the aircraft, positive below the aircraft. YB axis, perpendicular to the XB, ZB plane, positive determined by the right-hand rule, generally, positive out the right wing. Wind frame. Origin, airplane center of gravity. XW axis, positive in the direction of the velocity vector of the aircraft relative to the air. ZW axis, perpendicular to the XW axis, in the plane of symmetry of the aircraft, positive below the aircraft. YW axis, perpendicular to the XW, ZW plane, positive determined by the right-hand rule, generally, positive to the right. Asymmetric aircraft have analogous body fixed frames, but different conventions must be used to choose the precise directions of the X and Z axes. The Earth frame is a convenient frame to express aircraft translational and rotational kinematics. The Earth frame is also useful in that, under certain assumptions, it can be approximated as inertial. Additionally, one force acting on the aircraft, weight, is fixed in the plus ZE direction. The body frame is often of interest because the origin and the axes remain fixed relative to the aircraft. This means that the relative orientation of the Earth and body frames describes the aircraft attitude. 
Also, the direction of the force of thrust is generally fixed in the body frame, though some aircraft can vary this direction, for example by thrust vectoring. The wind frame is a convenient frame to express the aerodynamic forces and moments acting on an aircraft. In particular, the net aerodynamic force can be divided into components along the wind frame axis, with the drag force in the minus xw direction and the lift force in the minus zw direction. In addition to defining the reference frames, the relative orientation of the reference frames can be determined. The relative orientation can be expressed in a variety of forms, including direction cosine or rotation matrices, Euler angles, Quaternions The various Euler angles relating the three reference frames are important to flight dynamics. Many Euler angle conventions exist, but all of the rotation sequences presented below use the ZY -X convention. This convention corresponds to a type of tate bryan angles, which are commonly referred to as Euler angles. This convention is described in detail below for the roll, pitch, and yaw Euler angles that describe the body frame orientation relative to the earth frame. The other sets of Euler angles are described below by analogy. To transform from the earth frame to the body frame using Euler angles, the following rotations are done in the order prescribed. First, rotate the earth frame axis Z and Y around the Z axis by the yaw angle psi. This results in an intermediate reference frame with axes denoted X, Y, Z, where Z equals Z. Second, rotate the X and Z axes around the Y axis by the pitch angle theta. This results in another intermediate reference frame with axes denoted X, Y, Z, where Y equals y, finally, rotate the y and z axes around the x axis by the roll angle phi. The reference frame that results after the three rotations is the body frame. Based on the rotations and axis conventions above, the yaw angle psi is the angle between north and the projection of the aircraft longitudinal axis onto the horizontal plane, the pitch angle theta is the angle between the aircraft longitudinal axis and horizontal, and the roll angle phi represents a rotation around the aircraft longitudinal axis after rotating by yaw and pitch. To transform from the earth frame to the wind frame, the three Euler angles are the bank angle mu, the flight path angle gamma, and the heading angle sigma. When performing the rotations described above to obtain the wind frame from the earth frame, mu, gamma, sigma are analogous to phi, theta, psi, respectively. The heading angle sigma is the angle between north and the horizontal component of the velocity vector, which describes which direction the aircraft is moving relative to cardinal directions. The flight path angle gamma is the angle between horizontal and the velocity vector, which describes whether the aircraft is climbing or descending. The bank angle mu represents a rotation of the lift force around the velocity vector, which may indicate whether the airplane is turning. To transform from the wind frame to the body frame, the two Euler angles are the angle of attack alpha and the sideslip angle beta. When performing the rotations described earlier to obtain the body frame from the wind frame, alpha, beta are analogous to theta, psi, respectively, the angle analogous to phi in this transformation is always zero. The sideslip angle beta is the angle between the velocity vector and the projection of the aircraft longitudinal axis onto the xw, yw plane, which describes whether there is a lateral component to the aircraft velocity, also known as sideslip. The angle of attack alpha is the angle between the xw, yw plane and the aircraft longitudinal axis and, among other things, is an important variable in determining the magnitude of the force of lift. Topic. Design cases In analyzing the stability of an aircraft, it is usual to consider perturbations about a nominal steady flight state. So the analysis would be applied, for example, assuming straight and level flight turn at constant speed approach and landing Takeoff speed, height and trim angle of attack are different for each flight condition. In addition, the aircraft will be configured differently, e.g. at low speed flaps may be deployed and the undercarriage may be down. 
Except for asymmetric designs or symmetric designs at significant sideslip, the longitudinal equations of motion involving pitch and lift forces may be treated independently of the lateral motion involving roll and yaw. The following considers perturbations about a nominal straight and level flight path. To keep the analysis relatively simple, the control surfaces are assumed fixed throughout the motion, this is stick-fixed stability. Stick-free analysis requires the further complication of taking the motion of the control surfaces into account. Furthermore, the flight is assumed to take place in still air, and the aircraft is treated as a rigid body. Topic. Forces of flight Three forces act on an aircraft in flight, weight, thrust, and the aerodynamic force. Topic. Aerodynamic force Topic. Components of the aerodynamic force The expression to calculate the aerodynamic force is F A equals sigma minus delta P N plus F D sigma display style math b f f underscore a equals int underscore sigma delta p math b f n plus math b f f d sigma where delta p display style delta p equiv difference between static pressure and free current pressure n display style math b f n equiv outer normal vector of the element of area f display style math bf f equiv tangential stress vector practiced by the air on the body sigma display style sigma equiv adequate reference surface projected on wind axes we obtain f a equals minus i w d plus j w q plus k w l display style math b f f underscore a equals math b f i underscore w d plus math b f j underscore w q plus math b f k underscore w l where d display style d equiv drag q display style q equiv lateral force l display style l equiv lift topic aerodynamic coefficients dynamic pressure of the free current q equals 1 2 rho v 2 display style equiv q equals tfrac 1 2 rho v caret 2 proper reference surface wing surface in case of planes s display style equiv s pressure coefficient c p equals p minus p infinity q display style equiv c underscore p equals d f r a c p p underscore in a t q friction coefficient c f equals f Q display style equiv c underscore f equals d f r a c f q drag coefficient c d equals d q s equals 
minus one S Sigma minus C P N I W plus C F T I W D Sigma Display style a quiv C underscore D equals D F R A C D Q S equals D F R A C one S int underscore sigma C underscore P Math BF N bullet Math BF I underscore W plus C underscore F Math BF T bullet Math BF I underscore W D sigma Lateral force coefficient C Q equals q q s equals minus 1 s sigma minus c p n j w plus c f t j w D Sigma Display style a quiv C underscore Q equals D F R A C Q Q S equals D F R A C one S int underscore Sigma C underscore P Math BF N bullet Math BF J underscore W plus C underscore F Math BF T bullet Math BF J underscore W D Sigma Lift coefficient C L equals L Q S equals minus one S Sigma minus C P N K W plus C F T K W D Sigma Display style a quiv C underscore L equals D F R A C L Q S equals D F R A C one S int underscore Sigma C underscore P Math B F N bullet Math B F K underscore W plus C underscore F Math B F T bullet Math B F K underscore W D Sigma it is necessary to know CP and CF in every point on the considered surface. Topic: Dimensionless parameters and aerodynamic regimes. In absence of thermal effects, there are three remarkable dimensionless numbers: compressibility of the flow, Mach number m equals v. A display style equiv m equals d f r a c v a viscosity of the flow Reynolds number r e equals rho v l mu display style equiv re equals d f r a c rho v l mu rarefaction of the flow Knudsen number K N equals Lambda L Display style equiv K N equals D F R A C Lambda L where a equals K R theta Display style equals S Q R T K R theta equiv Speed of sound K Display style k equiv specific heat ratio r display style r equiv gas constant by mass unity theta display style theta equiv absolute temperature lambda equals mu rho pi two 
R theta equals M R E K pi two display style lambda equals dfrac mu rho sqrt dfrac pi 2r theta equals dfrac m re sqrt dfrac k pi 2 equiv mean free path according to lambda there are three possible rarefaction grades and their corresponding motions are called continuum current negligible rarefaction m r E one display style dfrac m re ll one transition current moderate rarefaction m r e approximately equals one display style dfrac m re approximately one free molecular current high rarefaction m r E one display style dfrac m re gg one. The motion of a body through a flow is considered, in flight dynamics, as continuum current. In the outer layer of the space that surrounds the body, viscosity will be negligible. However, viscosity effects will have to be considered when analyzing the flow in the nearness of the boundary layer. Depending on the compressibility of the flow, different kinds of currents can be considered. Incompressible subsonic current, 0m0.3, display style 0 compressible subsonic current, 0.3m0.8, display style 0.3 transonic current, 0.8m1.2, display style 0.8 supersonic current, 1.2m5, display style 1. 2 hypersonic current 5m display style 5 topic drag coefficient equation and aerodynamic efficiency if the geometry of the body is fixed and in case of symmetric flight beta equals 0 and q equals 0 pressure and friction coefficients are functions depending on c p equals C P alpha M R E P display style C underscore P equals C underscore P alpha M re P C F equals C F alpha M R E P display style C underscore F equals C underscore F alpha M re P where alpha display style alpha equiv angle of attack P display style P equiv considered point of the surface under these conditions drag and lift coefficient are functions depending exclusively on the angle of attack of the body and Mach and Reynolds numbers aerodynamic efficiency defined as the relation between lift and drag coefficients will depend on those parameters as well c d equals c d alpha m R E C L equals C L alpha M R E E equals E alpha M R E equals C L C D Display style begin cases C underscore D equals C underscore D alpha M re C underscore L equals C underscore L alpha M re E equals E alpha M re equals D F R A C C underscore L C underscore D end cases it is also possible to get the dependency of the drag coefficient respect to the lift coefficient. 
n t. This relation is known as the drag coefficient equation. C d equals C d C l m r e display style c underscore d equals c underscore d c underscore l m re equiv drag coefficient equation thermodynamic efficiency has a maximum value emax respect to cl where the tangent line from the coordinate origin touches the drag coefficient equation plot the drag coefficient cd can be decomposed in two ways First typical decomposition separates pressure and friction effects. C D equals C D F plus C D P C D F equals D Q S equals minus 1 s sigma c f t i w d sigma c d p equals d q s equals minus 1 s sigma minus c p n i w d sigma Display style C underscore D equals C underscore DF plus C underscore DP begin cases C underscore DF equals DFRAC D QS equals DFRAC one S int underscore sigma C underscore F Math BF T bullet Math BF I underscore W D sigma C underscore DP equals DFRAC D QS equals DF FRAC one S int underscore sigma C underscore P Math BF N bullet Math BF I underscore W D sigma end cases. There's a second typical decomposition taking into account the definition of the drag coefficient equation. This decomposition separates the effect of the lift coefficient in the equation, obtaining two terms CD zero and CDI. CD0 is known as the parasitic drag coefficient and it is the base draft coefficient at zero lift. CDI is known as the induced drag coefficient and it is produced by the body lift. C D equals C D 0 plus C D I C D zero equals C D C L equals zero C D I Display style C underscore D equals C underscore D zero plus C underscore D begin cases C underscore D zero equals C underscore D underscore C underscore L equals zero C underscore D end cases. Topic Parabolic and generic drag coefficient. A good attempt for the induced drag coefficient is to assume a parabolic dependency of the lift C D I equals K C L two C D equals C D zero plus K C L two 
display style c underscore d equals k c underscore l caret two right arrow c underscore d equals c underscore d zero plus k c underscore l caret two aerodynamic efficiency is now calculated as e equals c l c d zero plus k c l two e m a x equals one two k c d zero c l e m a x equals c d 0 k c d i e m a x equals c d 0 Display style E equals DFRAC C underscore L C underscore D zero plus KC underscore L carrot two right arrow begin cases E underscore max equals DFRAC one two SQRT KC underscore D zero C underscore L underscore Emacs equals SQRT DFRAC C underscore D zero K C underscore D underscore Emacs equals C underscore D zero end cases. If the configuration of the plane is symmetrical respect to the XY plane, minimum drag coefficient equals to the parasitic drag of the plane. C D M I N equals C D C L equals zero equals C D zero Display style C underscore DMIN equals C underscore D underscore C L equals zero equals C underscore D zero in case the configuration is asymmetrical respect to the XY plane, however, minimum flag differs from the parasitic drag. On these cases, a new approximate parabolic drag equation can be traced leaving the minimum drag value at zero lift value. C D M I N equals C D M does not equal C D C L equals zero display style c underscore dmin equals c underscore dm n e q c underscore d underscore c l equals zero c d equals c d m plus k c l minus C L M two Display style C underscore D equals C underscore DM plus K C underscore L C underscore L M carrot two Topic variation of parameters with the Mach number The coefficient of pressure varies with Mach number by the relation given below, Cp equals Cp0, 1 minus m infinity 2, display style C underscore P equals FRAC C underscore P0 SQRT 1 m underscore in T carrot 2, where Cp is the compressible pressure coefficient Cp0 is the incompressible pressure coefficient m infinity is the free stream Mach number, this relation is reasonably accurate for 0.37 and when m equals 1 it becomes infinity which is impossible physical situation and is called Prawn DTL Glauert singularity. Equals. Topic. 
aerodynamic force in a specified atmosphere equals c aerodynamic force equals topic static stability and control equals 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 topic longitudinal static stability equals equals see longitudinal static stability equals equals topic directional stability equals equals directional or weathercock stability is concerned with the static stability of the airplane about the z axis just as in the case of longitudinal stability it is desirable that the aircraft should tend to return to an equilibrium condition when subjected to some form of yawing disturbance. For this the slope of the yawing moment curve must be positive. An airplane possessing this mode of stability will always point towards the relative wind, hence the name weathercock stability. Topic. Dynamic stability and control Topic. Longitudinal modes It is common practice to derive a fourth-order characteristic equation to describe the longitudinal motion, and then factorize it approximately into a high-frequency mode and a low-frequency mode. The approach adopted here is using qualitative knowledge of aircraft behavior to simplify the equations from the outset, reaching the result by a more accessible route. The two longitudinal motions modes are called the short period pitch oscillation SPPO, and the fugoid. Topic. Short period pitch oscillation A short input in control systems terminology and impulse in pitch, generally via the elevator in a standard configuration fixed-wing aircraft will generally lead to overshoots about the trimmed condition. The transition is characterized by a damped simple harmonic motion about the new trim. There is very little change in the trajectory over the time it takes for the oscillation to damp out. Generally this oscillation is high frequency hence short period and is damped over a period of a few seconds. A real-world example would involve a pilot selecting a new climb attitude, for example 5 degrees nose up from the original attitude. A short, sharp pull back on the control column may be used, and will generally lead to oscillations about the new trim condition. If the oscillations are poorly damped the aircraft will take a long period of time to settle at the new condition, potentially leading to pilot-induced oscillation. If the short period mode is unstable it will generally be impossible for the pilot to safely control the aircraft for any period of time. This damped harmonic motion is called the short period pitch oscillation, it arises from the tendency of a stable aircraft to point in the general direction of flight. It is very similar in nature to the weathercock mode of missile or rocket configurations. The motion involves mainly the pitch attitude theta display style theta theta and incidence alpha display style alpha alpha the direction of the velocity vector relative to inertial axes as theta minus alpha Display style theta alpha. The velocity vector as u f equals u cos theta minus alpha. Display style u underscore f equals u cos theta alpha. W f equals u sin theta minus alpha display style w underscore f equals u sin theta alpha where u f display style u underscore f 
W F display style W underscore F are the inertial axes components of velocity. According to Newton's second law, the accelerations are proportional to the forces, so the forces in inertial axes are x f equals m d u f d t equals m d u d t cos theta minus alpha minus m u d theta minus alpha d t sin theta minus alpha Display style x underscore f equals m frac do underscore f dt equals m frac do dt cos theta alpha mu frac d theta alpha dt sin theta alpha z f equals m d w f d t equals m d u d t sin theta minus alpha plus m u d theta minus alpha d t cos theta minus alpha display style z underscore f equals m frac d w underscore f d t equals m frac do d t sin theta alpha plus m u frac d theta alpha d t cos theta alpha where m is the mass by the nature of the motion the speed variation m d u d t display style m frac do dt is negligible over the period of the oscillation so x f equals minus m u d theta minus alpha d t sin theta minus alpha display style x underscore f equals mu frac d theta alpha d t sin theta alpha z f equals m u d theta minus alpha d t cos theta minus alpha display style z underscore f equals mu frac d theta alpha d t cos theta alpha but the forces are generated by the pressure distribution on the body and are referred to the velocity vector but the velocity wind axis set is not an inertial frame so we must resolve the fixed axis forces into wind axes. Also, we are only concerned with the force along the z-axis. Z equals minus z f cos theta minus alpha plus x f sin theta minus alpha display style z equals z underscore f cos theta alpha plus x underscore f sin theta alpha or z equals minus m u d theta minus alpha d 
t display style z equals mu frac d theta alpha dt in words the wind axis force is equal to the centripetal acceleration the moment equation is the time derivative of the angular momentum m equals b d 2 theta d t 2 display style m equals b frac d caret 2 theta dt caret 2 where m is the pitching moment and b is the moment of inertia about the pitch axis let d theta d t equals q display style frac d theta dt equals q the pitch rate the equations of motion with all forces and moments referred to wind axes are therefore d alpha d t equals q plus z m u display style frac d alpha dt equals q plus frac z mu d q d t equals m b display style frac d q d t equals frac m b we are only concerned with perturbations in forces and moments due to perturbations in the states alpha display style alpha and q and their time derivatives these are characterized by stability derivatives determined from the flight condition. The possible stability derivatives are z alpha display style z underscore alpha lift due to incidence. This is negative because the z axis is downwards, whilst positive incidence causes an upwards force. Z q display style z underscore q Lift due to pitch rate, arises from the increase in tail incidence, hence is also negative, but small compared with z alpha display style z underscore alpha m alpha display style m underscore alpha pitching moment due to incidence, the static stability term. Static stability requires this to be negative. M Q display style m underscore q pitching moment due to pitch rate the pitch damping term this is always negative since the tail is operating in the flow field of the wing changes in the wing incidence cause changes in the downwash but there is a delay for the change in wing flow field to affect the tail lift this is represented as a moment proportional to the rate of change of incidence m alpha Display style m underscore dot alpha. The delayed downwash effect gives the tail more lift and produces a nose down moment. So m alpha display style m underscore dot alpha is expected to be negative. The equations of motion with small perturbation forces and moments become d alpha d t equals 1 plus z q m u q plus z alpha m u alpha Display style FRAC D alpha DT equals left one plus FRAC Z underscore Q mu right Q plus FRAC Z underscore alpha mu alpha D Q D T equals M Q B Q plus M Alpha B Alpha plus M Alpha 
b alpha display style frac d q d t equals frac m underscore q b q plus frac m underscore alpha b alpha plus frac m underscore dot alpha b dot alpha these may be manipulated to yield a second order linear differential equation in alpha display style alpha d 2 alpha d t 2 minus z alpha m u plus m q b plus 1 plus z q m u m alpha b d alpha d t plus z alpha m u m q b minus m alpha b 1 plus z q m u alpha equals 0 Display style FRAC D carrot two alpha DT carrot two left FRAC Z underscore alpha mu plus FRAC M underscore Q B plus one plus FRAC Z underscore Q mu FRAC M underscore dot alpha B right FRAC D alpha DT plus left FRAC Z underscore alpha mu FRAC M underscore Q B frac m underscore alpha b one plus frac z underscore q mu right alpha equals zero. This represents a damped simple harmonic motion. We should expect z q m u display style frac z underscore q mu to be small compared with unity. So the coefficient of alpha display style alpha the stiffness term will be positive, provided m alpha z alpha m u m q display style m underscore alpha. This expression is dominated by m alpha display style m underscore alpha, which defines the longitudinal static stability of the aircraft. It must be negative for stability. The damping term is reduced by the downwash effect, and it is difficult to design an aircraft with both rapid natural response and heavy damping. Usually, the response is underdamped but stable. Topic: Fugoid. If the stick is held fixed, the aircraft will not maintain straight and level flight except in the unlikely case that it happens to be perfectly trimmed for level flight at its current altitude and thrust setting, but will start to dive, level out and climb again. It will repeat this cycle until the pilot intervenes. This long period oscillation in speed and height is called the fugoid mode. This is analyzed by assuming that the SSPO performs its proper function and maintains the angle of attack near its nominal value. The two states which are mainly affected are the climb angle gamma display style gamma gamma and speed. The small perturbation equations of motion are m u d gamma d t equals minus z display style mu frac d gamma dt equals z which means the centripetal force is equal to the perturbation in lift force for the speed resolving along the trajectory m d u d t equals x minus m g gamma display style m frac do dt equals xmg gamma where g is the acceleration due to gravity at the earth's surface 
the acceleration along the trajectory is equal to the net xy's force minus the component of weight. We should not expect significant aerodynamic derivatives to depend on the climb angle, so only x u display style x underscore u and z u display style z underscore u need be considered x u display style x underscore u is the drag increment with increased speed it is negative likewise z u display style z underscore u is the lift increment due to speed increment it is also negative because lift acts in the opposite sense to the z axis the equations of motion become m u d gamma d t equals minus z u u display style mu frac d gamma dt equals z underscore u u m d u d t equals x u u minus m g gamma Display style m frac do dt equals x underscore u umg gamma. These may be expressed as a second order equation in climb angle or speed perturbation. D two u d t two minus x u m d u d t minus z u g m u u equals zero Display style FRAC D carrot two U D T carrot two FRAC X underscore U M FRAC do D T FRAC Z underscore U G mu U equals zero. Now lift is very nearly equal to weight Z equals one two row U two C L S W equals W display style Z equals frac 1 2 row u caret 2 C underscore L S underscore W equals W where row display style row is the air density S W Display style s underscore w is the wing area w the weight and c l display style c underscore l is the lift coefficient assumed constant because the incidence is constant. We have approximately z u equals two w u equals 2 m g u display style z underscore u equals frac 2 w u equals frac 2 milligrams u the period of the fugoid t is obtained from the coefficient of u 2 pi t equals 2 g 2 u 2 display style frac 2 pi t equals sqrt frac 2 grams caret 2 u caret 2 or t equals 2 pi u 2 g Display style t equals frac 2 pi u sqrt 2 g. 
Since the lift is very much greater than the drag, the fugoid is at best lightly damped. A propeller with fixed speed would help. Heavy damping of the pitch rotation or a large rotational inertia increase the coupling between short period and fugoid modes, so that these will modify the fugoid. Topic. Lateral modes With a symmetrical rocket or missile, the directional stability in yaw is the same as the pitch stability, it resembles the short period pitch oscillation, with yaw plane equivalence to the pitch plane stability derivatives. For this reason, pitch and yaw directional stability are collectively known as the weathercock stability of the missile. Aircraft lack the symmetry between pitch and yaw, so that directional stability in yaw is derived from a different set of stability derivatives. The yaw plane equivalent to the short period pitch oscillation, which describes yaw plane directional stability is called Dutch roll. Unlike pitch plane motions, the lateral modes involve both roll and yaw motion. Topic. Dutch roll. It is customary to derive the equations of motion by formal manipulation in what, to the engineer, amounts to a piece of mathematical sleight of hand. The current approach follows the pitch plane analysis in formulating the equations in terms of concepts which are reasonably familiar. Applying an impulse via the rudder pedals should induce Dutch roll, which is the oscillation in roll and yaw, with the roll motion lagging yaw by a quarter cycle, so that the wing tips follow elliptical paths with respect to the aircraft. The yaw plane translational equation, as in the pitch plane, equates the centripetal acceleration to the side force d beta d t equals y m u minus r display style frac d beta dt equals frac y mu r where beta display style beta beta is the side slip angle y the side force and r the yaw rate the moment equations are a bit trickier the trim condition is with the aircraft at an angle of attack with respect to the airflow. The body x-axis does not align with the velocity vector, which is the reference direction for wind axes. In other words, wind axes are not principal axes the mass is not distributed symmetrically about the yaw and roll axes. Consider the motion of an element of mass in position z, x in the direction of the y-axis, i.e. into the plane of the paper. If the roll rate is p, the velocity of the particle is v equals minus p z plus x r. Display style v equals p z plus x r. Made up of two terms, the force on this particle is first the proportional to rate of V change, the second is due to the change in direction of this component of velocity as the body moves. The latter terms gives rise to cross products of small quantities P, Q, P, R, Q, R, which are later discarded. In this analysis, they are discarded from the outset for the sake of clarity. In effect, we assume that the direction of the velocity of the particle due to the simultaneous roll and yaw rates does not change significantly throughout the motion. With this simplifying assumption, the acceleration of the particle becomes d v d t equals minus d p d t z plus d r d t x display style frac dv dt equals frac dp dt z plus frac dr dt x the yawing moment is given by delta m x d v d T equals minus D P D T 
x z delta m plus d r d t x 2 delta m Display style delta m x frac d v d t equals frac d p d t x z delta m plus frac doctor d t x caret two delta m. There is an additional yawing moment due to the offset of the particle in the y direction. D r d t y two Delta M display style frac doctor dt y caret two delta M. The yawing moment is found by summing over all particles of the body. N equals minus d p d t x z d M plus d r d t x 2 plus y 2 d m equals minus e d p d t plus c D R D T Display style N equals FRAC DP DT index ZDM plus FRAC Doctor DT index carrot two plus Y carrot two DM equals E FRAC DP DT plus C FRAC Doctor DT where n is the yawing moment, E is a product of inertia, and C is the moment of inertia about the yaw axis. A similar reasoning yields the Roll equation L equals A D P D T minus E D R D T Display style L equals a FRAC DP DT E FRAC Doctor DT where L is the rolling moment and a the roll moment of inertia. Topic Lateral and longitudinal stability derivatives. The states are Beta Display style beta Side slip r yaw rate and p roll rate with moments n yaw and l roll and force y sideways. There are nine stability derivatives relevant to this motion. The following explains how they originate. However, a better intuitive understanding is to be gained by simply playing with a model airplane and considering how the forces on each component are affected by changes in side slip and angular velocity. Y beta Display style y underscore beta side force due to side slip in absence of yaw side slip generates a side force from the fin and the fuselage. In addition, if the wing has dihedral side slip at a positive roll angle increases incidence on the starboard wing and reduces it on the port side, resulting in a net force component directly opposite to the side slip direction. Sweep back of the wings has the same effect on incidence, but since the wings are not inclined in the vertical plane, back sweep alone does not affect y beta display style y underscore beta. However, anhedral may be used with high back sweep angles in high performance aircraft to offset the wing incidence effects of side slip. Oddly enough, this does not reverse the sign of the wing configuration's contribution to y beta display style y underscore beta compared to the dihedral case y p display style y underscore p 
side force due to roll rate, roll rate causes incidence at the fin, which generates a corresponding side force. Also, positive roll starboard wing down increases the lift on the starboard wing and reduces it on the port. If the wing has dihedral, this will result in a side force momentarily opposing the resultant sideslip tendency. Anhedral wing and or stabilizer configurations can cause the sign of the side force to invert if the fin effect is swamped. Y R Display style Y underscore R Side force due to yaw rate, yawing generates side forces due to incidence at the rudder, fin and fuselage. N Beta Display style N underscore Beta Yawing moment due to sideslip forces. Sideslip in the absence of rudder input causes incidence on the fuselage and empennage, thus creating a yawing moment counteracted only by the directional stiffness which would tend to point the aircraft's nose back into the wind in horizontal flight conditions. Under sideslip conditions at a given roll angle, n beta display style n underscore beta will tend to point the nose into the sideslip direction even without rudder input, causing a downward spiraling flight. N P display style N underscore P yawing moment due to roll rate, roll rate generates fin lift causing a yawing moment and also differentially alters the lift on the wings, thus affecting the induced drag contribution of each wing, causing a small yawing moment contribution. Positive roll generally causes positive N P display style N underscore P values unless the empennage is anhedral or fin is below the roll axis. Lateral force components resulting from dihedral or anhedral wing lift differences has little effect on N P display style N underscore P because the wing axis is normally closely aligned with the center of gravity. N R display style N underscore R yawing moment due to yaw rate, yaw rate input at any roll angle generates rudder, fin and fuselage force vectors which dominate the resultant yawing moment. Yawing also increases the speed of the outboard wing whilst slowing down the inboard wing, with corresponding changes in drag causing a small opposing yaw moment. N R display style N underscore R opposes the inherent directional stiffness which tends to point the aircraft's nose back into the wind and always matches the sign of the yaw rate input. L beta Display style L underscore beta. Rolling moment due to sideslip. A positive sideslip angle generates empennage incidence, which can cause positive or negative roll moment depending on its configuration. For any non-zero sideslip angle, dihedral wings causes a rolling moment, which tends to return the aircraft to the horizontal, as does back swept wings. With highly swept wings the resultant rolling moment may be excessive for all stability requirements and anhedral could be used to offset the effect of wing sweep induced rolling moment. L R display style L underscore R rolling moment due to yaw rate, yaw increases the speed of the outboard wing whilst reducing speed of the inboard one, causing a rolling moment to the inboard side. The contribution of the fin normally supports this inward rolling effect unless offset by anhedral stabilizer above the roll axis or dihedral below the roll axis. L P display style L underscore P rolling moment due to roll rate. Roll creates counter rotational forces on both starboard and port wings whilst also generating such forces at the empennage. These opposing rolling moment effects have to be overcome by the aileron input in order to sustain the roll rate. If the roll is stopped at a non-zero roll angle the L beta display style L underscore beta upward rolling moment induced by the ensuing side slip should return the aircraft to the horizontal unless exceeded in turn by the downward L R Display style L underscore R 
rolling moment resulting from sideslip induced yaw rate. Longitudinal stability could be ensured or improved by minimizing the latter effect. Topic. Equations of motion Since Dutch roll is a handling mode, analogous to the short period pitch oscillation, any effect it might have on the trajectory may be ignored. The body rate R is made up of the rate of change of sideslip angle and the rate of turn. Taking the latter as zero, assuming no effect on the trajectory, for the limited purpose of studying the Dutch roll, d beta d t equals minus r display style frac d beta dt equals r the yaw and roll equations with the stability derivatives become c d r d t minus e d p d t equals n beta beta minus n r d beta d t plus n p p Display style C FRAC Doctor D T E FRAC D P D T equals N underscore beta beta N underscore R FRAC D beta D T plus N underscore P P Ya A D P D T minus E D R D T equals L beta beta minus L R D beta D T plus L P P Display style frac dp dt e frac doctor dt equals l underscore beta beta l underscore r frac d beta dt plus l underscore pp roll. The inertial moment due to the roll acceleration is considered small compared with the aerodynamic terms, so the equations become minus c d two beta d t 2 equals n beta beta minus n r d beta d t plus n p p display style c fra C D carrot two beta D T carrot two equals N underscore beta beta N underscore R F R A C D beta D T plus N underscore P P E D two beta D T two equals L beta beta minus L R D beta D T plus L P P Display style E FRAC D carrot two beta D T carrot two equals L underscore beta beta L underscore R FRAC D beta D T plus L underscore P P this becomes a second order equation governing either roll rate or side slip. N P C E A minus L P A D two beta D 
T two plus L P A N R C minus N P C L R A D beta D T minus L P A N beta C minus L beta A N P C beta equals zero Display style left FRAC N underscore P C FRAC E A FRAC L underscore P A right FRAC D carrot two beta D T carrot two plus left FRAC L underscore P A FRAC N underscore R C FRAC N underscore P C FRAC L underscore R A right FRAC D beta D T left FRAC L underscore P A FRAC N underscore beta C FRAC L underscore beta A FRAC N underscore P C right beta equals zero. The equation for roll rate is identical. But the roll angle phi display style phi phi is given by D phi D T equals P display style frac d phi d t equals P. If P is a damped simple harmonic motion, so as phi display style phi, but the roll must be in quadrature with the roll rate, and hence also with the side slip. The motion consists of oscillations in roll and yaw, with the roll motion lagging 90 degrees behind the yaw. The wing tips trace out elliptical paths. Stability requires the stiffness and damping terms to be positive. These are L P A N R C minus N P C L R A N P C E A minus L P A Display style FRAC FRAC L underscore P A FRAC N underscore R C FRAC N underscore P C FRAC L underscore R A FRAC N underscore P C FRAC E A FRAC L underscore P A Damping L Beta A N P C minus L P A N beta C N P C E A minus L P A Display style FRAC FRAC L underscore beta A FRAC N underscore P C FRAC L underscore P A FRAC N underscore beta C FRAC N underscore P C FRAC E A FRAC L underscore P A Stiffness the denominator is dominated by L P Display style L underscore P. The roll damping derivative, which is always negative, so the denominators of these two expressions will be positive. Considering the stiffness term minus L P N beta 
display style l underscore p n underscore beta will be positive because l p display style l underscore p is always negative and n beta display style n underscore beta is positive by design l beta display style l underscore beta is usually negative whilst n p display style n underscore p is positive excessive dihedral can destabilize the dutch roll so configurations with highly swept wings require anhedral to offset the wing sweep contribution to l beta display style l underscore beta the damping term is dominated by the product of the roll damping and the yaw damping derivatives, these are both negative, so their product is positive. The Dutch roll should therefore be damped. The motion is accompanied by slight lateral motion of the center of gravity and a more exact analysis will introduce terms in y beta display style y underscore beta etc. In view of the accuracy with which stability derivatives can be calculated, this is an unnecessary pedantry, which serves to obscure the relationship between aircraft geometry and handling, which is the fundamental objective of this article. Topic. Roll subsidence Jerking the stick sideways and returning it to center causes a net change in roll orientation. The roll motion is characterized by an absence of natural stability, there are no stability derivatives which generate moments in response to the inertial roll angle. A roll disturbance induces a roll rate which is only cancelled by pilot or autopilot intervention. This takes place with insignificant changes in side slip or yaw rate, so the equation of motion reduces to A D P D T equals L P P display style a frac d p d t equals L underscore p p L p display style L underscore p is negative, so the roll rate will decay with time. The roll rate reduces to zero, but there is no direct control over the roll angle. Topic. Spiral mode Simply holding the stick still, when starting with the wings near level, an aircraft will usually have a tendency to gradually veer off to one side of the straight flight path. This is the slightly unstable spiral mode. Topic. Spiral mode trajectory in studying the trajectory, it is the direction of the velocity vector, rather than that of the body, which is of interest. The direction of the velocity vector when projected on to the horizontal will be called the track, denoted mu display style mu mu. The body orientation is called the heading, denoted psi display style psi psi. The force equation of motion includes a component of weight d mu d t equals y m u plus g u phi Display style frac d mu d t equals frac y mu plus frac g u phi, where g is the gravitational acceleration and u is the speed, including the stability derivatives d mu d t equals y beta m u beta plus y r m u 
R plus Y P M U P plus G U Phi Display style FRAC D mu DT equals FRAC Y underscore beta mu beta plus FRAC Y underscore R mu R plus FRAC Y underscore P mu P plus FRAC G U Phi Roll rates and yaw rates are expected to be small, so the contributions of Y R Display style y underscore r and y p display style y underscore p will be ignored. The side slip and roll rate vary gradually, so their time derivatives are ignored. The yaw and roll equations reduce to n beta beta plus n r d mu d t plus n p p equals 0 display style n underscore beta beta plus n underscore r frac d mu d t plus n underscore p p equals 0 ya l beta beta plus l r d mu d t plus l p p equals 0 Display style L underscore beta beta plus L underscore R FRAC D mu D T plus L underscore P P equals zero Roll solving for beta Display style beta and P beta equals L R N P minus L P N R L P N beta minus N P L beta D mu D T Display style beta equals FRAC L underscore R N underscore P L underscore P N underscore R L underscore P N underscore beta N underscore P L underscore beta FRAC D mu D T P equals L beta N R minus L R N beta L P N beta minus N P L beta D mu D T Display style P equals FRAC L underscore beta N underscore R L underscore R N underscore beta L underscore P N underscore beta N underscore P L underscore beta FRAC D mu D T Substituting for side slip and roll rate in the force equation results in a first order equation in roll angle D Phi D T equals M G L beta N R minus N beta L R M U L P N beta minus N P L beta minus 
y beta l r n p minus l p n r phi Display style FRAC D Phi D T equals M G FRAC L underscore beta N underscore R N underscore beta L underscore R mu L underscore P N underscore beta N underscore P L underscore beta Y underscore beta L underscore R N underscore P L underscore P N underscore R Phi this is an exponential growth or decay, depending on whether the coefficient of phi display style phi is positive or negative. The denominator is usually negative, which requires L beta N R greater than N beta L R Display style L underscore beta N underscore R greater than N underscore beta L underscore R. Both products are positive. This is in direct conflict with the Dutch roll stability requirement, and it is difficult to design an aircraft for which both the Dutch roll and spiral mode are inherently stable. Since the spiral mode has a long time constant, the pilot can intervene to effectively stabilize it, but an aircraft with an unstable Dutch roll would be difficult to fly. It is usual to design the aircraft with a stable Dutch roll mode, but slightly unstable spiral mode. <laughs> See also